Hi, this is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, 60 minutes with I Know Reader. So I'll start the timer right now. Uh, in this video, I want to show you uh, in a, a big overview of and a detailed overview of I Know Reader. This, uh, this episode is not scripted. I do have a few things that I want to cover, but um, it's fully improvised. So I hope you will find this interesting. So if you've been reading uh, my article, um, you probably already know pretty much uh, a lot about uh, I Know Reader already, but I wanted to give you a sense, a feeling of how it is to use uh, I Know Reader itself. So what you're seeing right now on the screen is the default uh, dashboard that I have created for my per own personal needs. Uh, this dashboard is defined here with a, we, we give it a name. In this case, this is Numeric Citizen Reading Space, but I can create a blank dashboard if I want, or I can just uh, create a new one from this current dashboard so I can make some changes and I can add some gadgets to the already um, defined or created dashboard. So adding a, a, a gadget is actually um, um, for me to add some section uh, that I would like to see in this dashboard. That is actually the default page when I'm uh, logging in into Ino Reader. So as you can see, there's a lot of option where I can add a, a tile, which is called a widget, and then reposition this tile whatever whatever I want on the uh, canvas. So you'll see that you can I can add a new article uh, widget, a recently read articles, which you are seeing on the top right here. Also, you can uh, see the um, some articles that are meeting some of my defined rules. Uh, more on that later. So it's pretty flexible and. Um, the one that I'm currently using is pretty much stabilized. I mean, this is what I really want to see in the initial view of Ino Reader. But uh, that being said, what I'd like to do is to show you the uh, sidebar here on the left. This is the main navigation um, aid that you'll see in Ino Reader. And from there, I can uh, go directly to a specific uh, feed. And so I have many feeds in my uh, uh, setup and those feeds are, are organized in folders. And I can have as many folders I as I want. And also a feed can be added to more than one folder. So I have uh, some folders that are describing the sources where uh, the feed are coming from, but I can also organize those feeds uh, around a specific subject like Apple, for example, Apple News here, or I can have apps and services tool set, which is a different, very different uh, uh, kind of feeds that I put in there. And I also have a folder, which is all the, uh, the, the feeds about blogs that I'm following or subscribing to. As you probably know, I am a big uh, fan of uh, weather and climate uh, change in general. So I do add a, a few things, uh, a few feeds inside of this uh, folder. So that's pretty much the way uh, I decided to organize the um, the Ino Reader um, navigation sidebar. And um, if I want to add a new website, which happens to have a RSS feed enabled, so let's say I have a, um, a blog here, which I'm I just discovered today, and this is something that I find interesting. Uh, here I'm using Firefox. Uh, as I wrote in my article, uh, I decided to focus on Firefox for using Ino Reader uh, simply because there is a, a, a browser extension which happens to be pretty uh, useful uh, for use with Ino Reader, which is made by the makers of Ino Reader. So I decided to use uh, Firefox for uh, the, the use of Ino Reader. And the browser extension is over there. 
So what you see here, it's pretty much a similar view of my folders organization on here. And then in the actually what the, 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 the website that I'm currently uh, viewing, this is what you're going to see. There is a detected feeds. There is one there. So I can decide to add this uh, to my um, uh, subscription or I can preview that what it will look like when I subscribe to this feed. So if I go back to the website, I can again hit here and I can add the um, the, 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 the feed here. But usually this is not what I'm doing. What I like to do is to go over, uh, copy this link here, and then I'll switch to I, I Know Reader itself. I'll select the Add New uh, Feeds, and I'll select the, R, the, 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 the icon for the RSS feed itself. And then I'll type that, and hopefully I Know Reader will look at the site and see if there is any uh, RSS feed available. So yes, there is another one. There's one. So what you are seeing here, it's interesting. Um, there is so there is one um, feed that has been found to be uh, available. Um, I know Reader is aware of five followers of this specific website. This is interesting, and also it says that there is about six article a week that is being published on this feed. So I can just decide to uh, follow this um, this feed or if there was any problem in finding a, a feed for this site then we could create a, a web feed where the um, article will will be formatted as a, uh, a list of uh, posts within the um, the feed itself so let's say I'm following this one and then at the top here I can decide to add the feed to a specific folder or more than one folder so if I go I go there I'll select this is a blog I could select another folder but in that case this is I'm, I'm fine with that or I can also create a new folder to save this specific feed so I'll click save on that and then you'll see that the uh, website has been added here at the top and then if I click on that, it will show me the last um, few articles that has been uh, published on this feed. So I can select to see all the articles or I can select to see if there is any uh, previously starred article. Uh, but it's not the case here because it's a brand new subscription. So this is the list of the, um, the blog posts or the, the posts available uh, through the feed. And what you can see here on the on the right, it's um, the last time it was um, uh, how how long it has been posted. So this is five hours from now. Uh, there's another post here two days ago or three days ago, and and so on. From there, I can decide also to open this specific article in its own tab within Firefox. I can also select to share this article to different places. Uh, and here it's interesting. I can copy the article URL if I want, and then I can I could paste that in in Craft or somewhere else, somewhere else. Doesn't matter. But if you look at the at the uh, possibilities here, I can I can uh, cross post this URL to Twitter, or Facebook. I can email this article. I could print it. I could save it as a PDF. And this is where it gets a bit strange. They are supporting Blogger, and I don't know uh, if there's a lot of people still using Blogger, but anyway, it's uh, available. You can decide to send this uh, article to a Telegram channel or to somebody else on uh, to the, the Telegram messaging platform. You can also schedule a, a post through the Buffer web service. You can save that in Evernote, post that on LinkedIn, or you can also share that with Hootsuite, Pocket, Google Drive, and so on. So there's a lot of choice. Um, sadly, I don't use most of those. I don't use Instapaper anymore. I don't use OneNote for uh, my personal need. I'm mostly using Craft. I don't know about this, uh, web, uh, the, this web service. I don't use Dropbox either. And who's using Hootsuite? 
I am not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So there's a few options as you can see. And also there's this um, there where I can select to create a rule, more on that later, rule, note, and uh, to broadcast this article. I'll, I'll show you in a few minutes how to use those options. And also I could decide to go from right in the middle here and decide to mark uh, the article above as read or below as read. So for now, that's it for, for this, uh, this list. I could also click on this specific article and then boom, there is the article itself where I can see all the picture and the illustration. It's pretty nice, by the way. And what is interesting is that since it seems to be a uh, illustration based or oriented feed, if I hit escape here, I'll return to my list of article. I can also select to unread that. Let's try to display this list of article in different ways. So here there is a, a layout option menu that you can select. So this is the currently selected list view. I can expand that and see how it goes. So this is a pretty extensive. So you see all the article like in full. You could also select to use a column view with this side. So if I click on that, then I'll see the more detailed view on the right. I don't like that much, pretty much. Uh, you can select to see the card view. So this is where I would say that this type of display, the card view is interesting. So for photography oriented articles or feeds, uh, it could be a good way to display this. And actually I'm using that for many different uh, feed myself. So let's settle on this one. I can change the sorting order, like the newest first, the oldest first, and I don't even know what the magic uh, sorting means. Let's try that. I'm not sure. Oh, we are showing only the articles from the last month in this mode. Oh, okay, that's nice. So let's bring that the um, uh, newest view first. Also, I can decide to group by date. So if there is uh, articles, many articles published on a specific date, then they will be grouped together like that. So Again, I prefer to have no grouping for that one. And so here again, you'll see the same information at the bottom of each card for this uh, type of uh, display layout. So this is how you subscribe or can you add, add a, a new RSS feed. But the power of Ino Reader is being able to add more than one type of source. Uh, you could add a source from Google so if I go there, I can select to add some things that comes from Google News or a Facebook page that you are looking for. It could be a feed uh, that is generated by Reddit. It can, also, <clears throat> it can also be a Telegram channel. And this is one of the things that I like is being able to get my news uh, from Telegram and inserted in my uh, um, uh, environment within the Ino Reader. I can also subscribe to newsletter. So when you go to a website which offers you to subscribe to your newsletter, you'll be able to uh, select a, an email address that is actually maintained by Ino Reader. So you'll be able to simply uh, use that email and then all those newsletters will come within the Ino Reader. So let me show you that in uh, this example. So if I close that, here there's the, the newsletter subscription. I think I need some water. So this is the list of all the, the subscription that I'm currently having. Um, so as you can see, there's a, many of them. Many of them are coming from uh, Mailbrew, which is a nice free service for building, uh, automatically building newsletter. So this is uh, interesting because you can, from here, read a, um, a newsletter that is coming from, uh, for example, Substack. I would say that uh, sometimes the newsletter formatting is better viewed within the original source of the newsletter. For example, the Mailbrew um, uh, service uh, better display its content 
itself than through Ainu Reader. In any case, uh, being able to concentrate all those sources, including the newsletter within Ainu Reader, I find this to be very uh, useful for my needs. So I have one place to go, everything is in there, and I can just spend the, the time I need to read the, the, the thing that I want to read, including newsletter. So again, escape to return to the list. I'll try to find, um, so yeah, there's the, you can here, you can have a, a, a folder added. Um, this is something that should be the COVID-19 alert. I'm, I'm guessing that a few, uh, like two years ago, it was useful, but today I don't think it's um, useful right now. So I can try to find here something when we decide to add a new feed, there is a collection, a curated collection by the, 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 the team behind Aino Reader, where you'll be able to browse uh, specific sources if you are interested in, like if you go for the top news and you can see that uh, I'm coming from Canada. So if I select that, I can select to see uh, typical sor news sources that we have in Canada. And um, yeah, so this is something we can do. If I go in the tech news and trends, again, if I interested in um, uh, cybersecurity or uh, AI, then I can select to, to subscribe to a uh, collection of different AI related uh, sources or individual source itself. And as you can see, for each of those sources, again, you see how many followers from I Know Reader. My understanding is that this is only for I Know Reader itself. Uh, I Know Reader doesn't know how many uh, total subscriber a specific website has. It's only the one that are coming through the I Know Reader service. So, and the interesting thing is that we have the information velocity how many articles are published each week. And I find this to be interesting. So you know in advance what kind of uh, information uh, throughput you'll, you'll be uh, exposed to. So this is the way you can add feeds. You can search with keywords, uh, like if I enter chat GPT, it's pretty uh, specific. I can select all the language uh, that I want to have the source, I can select to be in French only or in English. So this is um, much more um, restrictive. So I can again select. And you can see here at the right, there is a list of related topics that you can select if you want to uh, be more specific at what you're looking for. So again, you can look for Google News, ChatGPT, if you like to know what the Google News service is publishing, you can then use the um, this sources, this source itself, and then just follow this topic. So let's say I, I follow this thing. Again, I can decide to add this to a specific folder. Everything that comes from uh, Google News, I like it to be from in, to, to be saved into the uh, from Google News folder. But I could also add it to something like tech, and I would be uh, pretty much. Or I could just be, go there and create a new folder called AI, and then click save, and then the AI folder is created, and the feed has been added to this. Um, place. So if I go to the um, from Google News folder, what you'll see here is interesting because there is many articles uh, for which I'm already subscribing, like uh, from the Apple, um, there is a, if I go there, there's two uh, terms I'm looking for, ChatGPT or Apple. And when I'm clicking on the folder itself, so everything is combined is a single view. And this is something that I really like because if I click on this uh, folder here, let's say I go on the Apple News, all the sources are merged together. And I like to see that in a chronological order, like what you are seeing right now. You'll, you'll see or you'll notice that there's a few terms that has been highlighted for me by I know reader 
because I chose to ask Ainu Reader to highlight anything in the title uh, to be highlighted. And in this case, it's about the iPhone 15, which is coming up this fall. So if I want to see the highlighters, I can go there at the bottom and hit this. So there is two highlighters that I'm currently using right now. And I see when those has been created. And if I go there, I can select them to be case sensitive and I can select them to set them to a specific color. So this is the two that I created. It's pretty, it's very simple. As soon as you see text within the Ino Reader, you can select the text and then create an highlighter and it will add that to your list of highlighters. There's a finite number of highlighters that you can create. And this is something that you can monitor in the Ino Reader preference, which I'll show you in a bit. So again, if I go back to the to this Google News here, again, this is interesting because all the information sources are merged in a single list. This is interesting, but I can also select to see all the news related to the latest, the last uh, query I added, which is the chat GPT. I can rename this. I can rename that to be something else. So I could just rename the feed and add a some kind of uh, standard. So it could be uh, something like this from Google News forward slash chat GPT. And then I click save. And then here I have a cleaner display of all the uh, things that I'm following on Google News. And I like that. Uh, if you look at this folder, there's a lot of option here. You can see the uh, feed properties. Okay, again, you can see how you can rename a feed. I can unfollow this. I can create a rule. I can create a filter. And creating a filter is interesting because sometimes you'll see a many uh, similar article uh, in a feed and you may want to, to remove some duplicates. So you can do that within the folder options. Um, you can also set that as a start page. So it, when you enter the Ino Reader, you'll be uh, positioned exactly to this specific feed. But in my case, this is the uh, not the case. I want to go to the dashboard itself. So if I go in the another um, place for the Apple News, I'll select again folder properties and let's see what we've got here. So how long in the past you want to keep uh, unread article? This is done at the folder level and the, the, the maximum that you can have in this uh, subscription tier is 30 days. And also I can decide to remove duplicate in this a list of article. It's when this, the, they have the same title. Sometimes the two sites or a single website will publish uh, the same article twice. I don't know why. Uh, sometimes Apple Insider does that. And what you see here is interesting. And I like that because you can see how many uh, articles are being posted in this specific feed and how many articles I'm reading from that feed. So this is the orange uh, bar over there. So you can see that during the weekdays, it's busier. And in the weekend, it's, there's less article published. If I go in the weekday here, as you can see, and the time of the day. So again, the, when I'm reading more news, you can see the pattern that I'm currently interacting with that specific uh, folder or specific um, um, yeah, folder because this is all the Apple news, but I can do that on the same on a specific feed. If I go on the Apple Insider and again, I'll go in the feed properties. You see here, there is no way to limit how long in the past we want to keep the red articles. It's only again on the, at the folder level. So there is 6,000 followers for that. There's 95 posts on average per week. And the last post came like 58 minutes ago. And this is this um, feed is polled every 10 minutes. I can have this uh, accelerated or make it faster by boosting the uh, polling interval. And the last time the, 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 the feed has been crawled by the Ino 
uh, reader serviced is at 1703 so it's a while back and this is where the uh, feed has been saved i could add other one again if i want okay cancel i i decided for this specific um, um, fee to remove some duplicates because I, Apple Insider is uh, often publishing um, the same article twice and again I can have a specific um, publishing pattern and how I'm interacting with this service over uh, the time of the day so it's very interesting to see that and I when this, I started to follow this uh, exact uh, feed is on the February 9th. This is the day I imported my OPML file from um, my previous RSS reader, which was the News Explorer. So it's, uh, this is how we can see the properties of a feed. If I go back at the folder level, um, there is a place where I can create a rule. This is something important because in iNoReader, one of the reasons I switch to iNoReader is because by subscribing to so many feeds, uh, sometimes it's becoming overwhelming. There is so much information to dwell into, to look at, to look at on a regular basis. So I can ask uh, iNoReader to work for me and this is how one of the, the ways that you can ask him to uh, work for me. So this is, I'll be creating a rule here. So I can give it a name. This is a test rule. I won't save that, but I can, uh, yes, I can save that and then later I'll delete that. So when a new article in this folder, which I have selected right now in Apple News, so this is the selected folder, what's the condition? So if the title or the content of the article contains like chat GPT, I don't expect to have a lot of articles because uh, chat GPT is not related to Apple itself. I can also add a new uh, condition, a nor or an end, a logical end. And again, I can select to look at the other. So if I like to see articles coming from a specific author, I could ask uh, I know reader to um, fire the rule for me and I can remove that and when this condition is met what do I want I know reader to do so this is the then part and then I'll select add action I could select mark it as read I don't want to bother reading those article talking about chat GPT if it's coming in this specific folder I could assign a tag which the tag I just created earlier, the AI tag. I could star the article. And by the way, starring an article in iNoReader, it's kind of a read later um, service or feature within this iNoReader service. So this is how you enable the read later um, option. I could choose to broadcast this article. I'll show you what it means to broadcast something in iNoReader later. I can send an email, I can send that to uh, Pocket. This is a bookmarking service, Instapaper, Evernote, and, and everything else. I could add a push notification to my iPhone, which I have the iNoReader installed. And I, call, can, I could also trigger a webhook. This is something that I'm not really familiar with, but this is something that you can do. If you know what it is, then here you have it. So again, I can mark as read, I can just assign a tag. So I'll assign a tag and I'll click AI. Yeah, AI right there. And I'll run the rule. If I do that, it will, it tells me that there is a limit. So I get, let's go with that. It's running the rule. I'll be waiting for that. So it, it saw a, a thousand article, it matched Six, 16 article out of the thousand article it's, it, it saw and this is the processing time it took. So I'll click OK on that. I can save this rule and if I go down here there's a place where you'll see the rules. I go there and if I can see this is the test rule at the bottom here I can just click on this portion the 16 matches today and it will give me all the articles that I can decide to read. 
and which sources are posting this article. So it is very, very powerful. And as you can see here, I have a, many of those that has been created. Uh, some are disabled. Uh, some um, might be disabled in the future. Let's say when iOS 17 comes up and goes out in the wild, maybe I'll decide to just turn off this thing because it will trigger too many times. So it's really about the things I want to focus on. And um, this is it's a very uh, powerful thing to, to use in Ino Reader. So I want to uh, mention something important. Uh, as you can see, as you, as, as you know, I know Readers is uh, not a free service. This is a service that you have to, to subscribe to. If I go in this icon there, this is the, the, the place where you'll be able to see uh, set the preference. And from there here, you can see the billing and usage. If I click on that, so this is I'm a pro subscriber. I have uh, until June 9 before the subscription renew because this is on a monthly basis. And what you see here is the usage of different I know reader feature. And the rules that I created earlier is now the, the 12th rule out of a 30 allot allotment that I have. If I want to have uh, more rules to be to, to use in my subscription, I could select the upgrade. Here I have the an issue with the duplicate filters. Um, the idea behind that is when you are adding more duplicate uh, things like uh, rules or filters or feeds, this is adding more processing demand on the service. So you have a basic allotment for the services but if you have to add more then you'll be uh, you'll have to pay so let's say i want to upgrade to get more uh, i would like to define a few more duplicate filters so that i can remove uh, duplicate articles within a feed so i click on upgrade here and here it goes so if i want to add 10 uh, 20 more it will cost me 6.99 in canadian dollar on top of my current uh, subscription and the way I'm understanding that is by doing so, I'll go from the pro subscription to the enterprise plan. And um, I won't do that here because I don't want to upgrade, but this is the way it, uh, I see how it works. I could also add other uh, feature like more uh, money, uh, keyword monitoring. So if I do that, again, it will add uh, another amount on top of my subscription. If I have two or more services added, then there is a discount as you can see here, but you can see that the price can be, uh, it, 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 uh, it increases a lot. So it's not a cheap service, but for now I don't need that. So I'll just cancel that. So this is how you see how you are using the uh, subscription and as you can see here it's a us dollar it's not canadian dollars it's in us dollar so for me it's even more expensive than that so again uh, as you can see i don't subscribe to any twitter feeds because i'm no longer using that service uh, i could decide to translate articles that i'm let's say i declare myself to be a french speaking person but i would like to subscribe to english sources uh, English uh, uh, feed, then I could ask I know reader to translate the articles for me. And there is a certain amount of uh, characters that I can ask the service to translate the content for me. So if, again, this is something that you can decide to add more characters to be added. I don't know if this is a lot i don't think it is a lot depending on the type of sources that you are subscribing to but as you can see this is really a nice feature one thing that i want to mention if you want if you upgrade to the enterprise plan what you'll be able to access also are digests digests are a way to generate email digest to, that you will receive in your inbox, which are a condensed overview of all the articles of a specific feed. And this is something that I try to use myself, but I, I couldn't because it's reserved for 
uh, the enterprise. So by upgrading any of that, my understanding is that you'll be put on the enterprise um, subscription tier. And this means that you'll be able to use the, um, the digest uh, feature. So this is how you um, manage that. There's a lot of things to, to look at in this panel. The first thing is that you notice this, this is version here, the version of uh, Ino Reader currently um, available online. The, there is a tile which is the content management tile. You'll see all the um, feed that I'm subscribing to, my engagement level for those, if they are active or not. If I want to make them pull faster, I can boost that. There's a certain amount of boost that I can use in my subscription. I think it's 30. I can decide to edit the, the title of this, subs the, of this uh, subscription, the, uh, the, the, the subscription to this specific feed. I can also uh, create a rule right from there for this specific feed. I can also filter. And all the uh, filter icon, which are in orange, means that I do have a content filtering rule currently active for this specific uh, source feed. And one of the things that I like to, to do is some of the feeds will publish ads as a, as a for me as an article. And in the title, you'll see promotion, promotion or sales or don't miss uh, blah, blah, blah. So I, I, I like to remo remove those articles from the feed so it makes the feed cleaner and um, easier on the eyes. And also I can decide to just get rid of this specific uh, feed. I can see all the feeds that has been de deactivated. I can look at feeds that might have issue. And here it's something that um, if there is a feed that does not publish a lot or uh, often, sometimes it will be seen as dead or having an issue, but most of the time it's because it's not publishing often. An interesting thing to note is when I uh, imported my OP OPML file a few months ago, uh, this is where I saw that I had many, many, many feeds that were actually no longer existing on the web. So I had to clean them up and then shrink down my list of subscription. And for that, I think it was uh, a nice thing uh, from uh, the I know uh, reader service to have. So this is pretty much for that. Uh, in the content management, you can, as you can see, there's the feeds, there's the folders. Um, and this is very interesting. What I'll, I'll explain those here, what those column means. The tags also is similar, all the tags and uh, the system folders. So there is a read letters. Those are the star article. So when I'm seeing an article that I want to star it, it will go in this uh, system folder and it will be available for me to read later. There's also my channel. I'll explain what it is. Uh, the, all the articles that I liked and the web page that I saved. So let me explain something. Let's say I go in the folders view here. There is a, oh no, I'll go to the tag view. On the tag view, there is a, a tag that I called a link post. So when I'm reading an article and I want to create, uh, in potentially create a link post related to this specific article, I'll just add a link post tag to the article. And by having that enabled, this is the, what it is called the output feeds. What it means is that I know reader will turn this specific tag as a source. It will become available to be used with a RSS reader for you to look at. So again, this is the, the way um, it is done. It's pretty simple. So if I want to show you how it looks, I'll switch to net news wire, which is something that I'm currently using for keeping track of all those tags where I enable the RSS on the specific tag. So again, the link post here, there's 21 available. And 
the last one that I uh, tagged was a life expectancy in the US is all over the place. So this is a very interesting article. So if I click on that, I'll see the article that has been shared by someone. Uh, I think it's, um, I don't remember exactly, but this is the article that I wanted to eventually react to. And so it's very powerful because any sources, a folder or a, a, a tag can be turned as a RSS feed source itself. So it's very, very clever. If I go back in Firefox to see other, so you can add the RSS version, the JSON version, or you can have a HTML clip that you can paste in a web page that you'll sh will show you, I think, the 10 first article from this specific tag um, that you chose. There's also the ideas, which I have enabled that, and also useful. Sometimes I'll see articles that are useful. I think that might be useful for my needs. I'll tag that here, and then I'll be able to see that in the Net Newswire RSS feed client. So this is very interesting. And just for that, I think I know reader for me at least is very um, useful and it worth it, it is worth the price. As you can see, you can do that on a folder, which is even more powerful because if I want to share um, all the articles that I'm posting through my mini websites, all of them are having a RSS feed enabled on their, on each of them. But if I want to create a super feed, a feed which will kind of gather all the articles I'm publishing on, a, on, on different sources, on different platforms, then I only have to enable the uh, RSS, the output phase on this, and then copy and paste this specific uh, link to the RSS feed. And again, I'll switch back to NetNewsWire. And as you can see here, this is the, um, yeah, here. This is, I think it's, I don't remember where I, where I put that. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll just click on that, copy the, the link here. I'll go back to the net news wire. I'll just add this and then I'll put that test and I'll put that in numeric citizen folder. Maybe it will tell me that's already subscribed. Yes, it is. So I think it is here. No, it's not here. Yes, it is here. So how the, published articles through my individual website are gathered together within a single RSS feed. And I think it is pretty clever. So this is how I'm using that in uh, I know reader. So again, very powerful. I can make that OPML to be private just for me, or I can make that public here like I did. And it's pretty interesting. Again, I'm, I'm, I love this option um here yeah so if i go there see all my feeds so this is something i really wanted to to show you um so now if i go in the library view on the sidebar on the left here uh, this is where you'll see a dynamic folders i would say uh, one of them being the annotated uh, folder so these are all the articles that I read in the past and for which I add some uh, I added some annotation or notes to those articles. So let's say I go on this specific uh, article, I click on that, and at the top of the of the uh, article will be all the the um, notes and the highlights I created within this article. And the nice thing about that is that all those highlights are being saved into Readwise IO. So I can view that in my Readwise account. And by the way, on a regular basis, I'll go on a Readwise, export the latest highlights that I've got, and then I'll import those into Craft in order to be able to keep all those information in one place and to consolidate the knowledge that I'm uh, creating, um, not creating, but that I am amassing over time. So this is very interesting. Now, 
where is the specific highlights in the article? I just have to click on scroll to highlight and then it will go right there. Here it seems to be a tweet that is kind of uh, displaying partially. So you see all the, the highlights again. Um, I, I have created a, a note at the article level, level that you can see here, which I could delete if I want. Uh, this is private to me. There is nobody else that can see that. And what is interesting is that I can use that note to be the start of a link post. And usually when I do have highlights on specific articles, then I'll use the uh, tag here and I should have the link post added as you can see right there. So this is for me a, a great way for uh, to see all the possible link posts that I could create just by looking at this specific uh, tag. So the other interesting thing about uh, that is when I'm reading an article, I can just select that and then I'll be able to an uh, annotate this selection. I can also decide to maybe um, just clear. Um, no, nope. what I'll do is I'll go at the top here and I'll just delete this highlight because I, it was only for testing. The thing that I want to add maybe for specific highlights here, if I can click on this add note, I can just add some thought related to the specific highlights. This is some thoughts. And then again, this note are private. I can save that. And again, it will show me just at the top of the highlight, uh, the highlighted text, the thoughts that I wrote. And again, I can use that in a upcoming link post if I if I want. So this is for the notes and the annotation. Uh, if I if I liked an article here, if I click on that, it will be broadcasted somewhere on Ino Reader. I'll show you where. If I add a comment here again, it will be like writing a comment. Uh, just at the, the, the bottom of this specific article and this comment will be made public on my uh, profile page and also I can decide that to broadcast this specific folder uh, article because I want to maybe uh, talk about that. So where is this information going? Well, if I go in the um, in the dashboard, no, it's not in the dashboard it's right there in the channel. I see my channel here. And over time, I did three broadcasts. And one of them is uh, the tidbits. It's coming from tidbits and those uh, three different sources. So I decided for some reason to broadcast that. And maybe I had some uh, notes uh, written for that. So if I go in the activity um, um, tab, I'll let the Ino Reader makes it work. So the last time I did comment on that and I broadcasted it was yesterday and it was related to the fact that the COVID-19 exposure feature from iOS will be eventually shut down and I wrote that this is an, the end of an enduring era. So someone who is subscribing to my channel here and it appears that there is one followers will will it actually see this uh, comment and the broadcasted articles themselves and they could also read the article post the comment and so on and so on and so on the thing is that since i'm using i know reader like more than three months i didn't see a lot of activities related to this specific feature as you can see there's only one followers I don't even know how to uh, find other user of um, I know Reader myself. So this is kind of a, a mixed, I, I do have a mixed reaction to that, a mixed feeling to that. Uh, I'm not sure what to think about that. I'm not planning to use that because it would uh, make that it would be more spread all over the place again. I want to focus on uh, less thing. So. And the other thing I want to talk about is the bundles. The bundles is interesting because I created a bundle 
which is the New York Citizen publication. And it, it kind of the same idea I had, uh, I explained a few minutes ago related to the enabling of an RSS feed on a specific folder. So this is the same kind of thing here. So I created a, a bundle where all my uh, publication sources that I do online are regrouped together and I created all the 11 feeds and someone can subscribe to this and see all the articles as they come in inside I know reader. So maybe there is some fan of my work that wants to have a look at what I'm posting online. So this is one of the, the way they could uh, subscribe to that. As you can see, there is no followers for this uh, bundle. Uh, I didn't really uh, share or publicize this maybe in the future, but this is not something that I did as of now. And I can see there is one follower. I know this guy. I, I remember his face. I think he's on a uh, microblog, but I'm not sure. So yeah, this is the way uh, the channel is working. Uh, you can also, I think we can create more, or it can be set as a start page, but I'm not doing that for now. So again, um, for the purpose of testing the, uh, the specific feature of Ino Reader, I did broadcast a few things. Maybe I could go and try to broadcast something here. Uh, if I go on the Mac Rumors, uh, there's, oh, here you can see that on this specific feed, there's uh, a filter, one of more filter act, uh, activated on this on this specific feed and there's also highlighters in action as you can see here. So if I go there, I click on this and I see an article about the 48 megapixel camera uh, that could be um, coming to the iPhone 15, not only for the Pro models, um, I could decide to uh, like this or create a broadcast of that and by um, I could just add a, a thoughts. This would make the iPhone 15 models more interesting, interesting to more people because they are cheaper. Uh, and then I'll broadcast that. As you can see here, I did broadcast that. And if I go in my channel, I should see that this is something that I just added right there. So I, I think you understand the basic idea of um, the broadcasting and the channel uh, view of I know Reader. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is that there is a few, uh, there is many RSS feed readers that are, that are actually supporting I know Reader as a subscription uh, service where you can just uh, connect to your service and see all the feeds. So I'll show you something in um, Reader here. So as you can see, uh, you are seeing the my I know Reader account, which I have a bit less than uh, 14,000 uh, articles on Red. Yeah, I know I, I do have some backlogs. So I can see here the organization by folders and the order they are shown here is exactly the same one as here. So if I make a change there, it will, it will, it will be reflected also in the RSS feed client. So I do use our reader sometimes just to have a quick look at my um, feeds or my, my news. But the problem is, if I find an interesting article here that I would like to annotate, then I'll have to switch to the web version of I know Reader so I can do all my annotation and notes uh, on this specific article. So this is not uh, always fun having to switch between those servers. But here it is. Yeah, you can have a look at your uh, feed again. And as you can see, just like in uh, I know Reader itself, if you click on the folder, then you will see a consolidated view of all the articles within this specific folder in the order that you have, uh, you are receiving them. So this is uh, Reader. I like it a lot. I do test. I did some tests with ReadKit 
also, which is very similar as you can, I, maybe you saw in the article, I did a, a quick comparison of the two. They are very similar. This one is more, um, the, the design is a little bit more spacey. There is more space in the way things are displayed, uh, but Rekit is more dense, uh, I would say. So yeah, this is uh, I know, uh, the reader uh, application. And as you can see, there's the net news wire that I'm uh, using also. But the use case for that, as I, ex I, I explained earlier, is that I'm following, yes, I'm following my own feed so that I, I can always keep an eye on the uh, content that goes through my feeds. But I am also following the uh, all the rules that I'm that I have created. I have enabled the RSS feed option for this specific rule, and then I can just click on that and see all the articles where the uh, match the condition or the query in the uh, defined rule. So this is uh, super interesting to, to do and to see that within a specific place. So this is uh, how I'm using the net use um, wire uh, uh, RSS feeder reader. And I think it's a, a very nice reader for this specific purpose. So um, yeah, this is the um, I know reader. I think I made, uh, I. I can maybe show you the filters view. So many, many filters are defined to remove duplicates or maybe specific uh, things from a um, specific uh, website. So if I click on that, for example, uh, Daring Fireball, uh, I decided to remove all the articles where I do see in the title the, the talk, which usually means that it is an article posted for the um, the the, um, the podcast, and also I'll remove the article if I have a sponsor in the title because sometimes uh, Mr. Gruber will publish an article to talk about available slots on his website, so I want to just remove that from the list of published article in the feed. I do have a few more like in the uh, Mac stories. Yeah, this is everything that relates to the broad, to the podcast, the sponsorship, the club Mac stories or the Unwin. This is, I think it's another podcast. I don't want to see that within the list of all the articles because it, it makes the articles uh, too busy. There's another one here. Sometimes, I'm subscribing to a specific feed, but I want to look only at a specific article, which is about a subject. And here for the BBC News, I want to see all the articles which or the where the, the title and the content contains the Ukraine war keywords, and uh, it works uh, superbly. So if I go in this. Um, here in Ukraine, and I go into BBC Ukraine, there is all those articles that I'm showing. Uh, there's more, obviously, but this is only the ones that I want to show. Speaking of which, uh, there is a, a, um, a link or the Telegram um, service that is supported within I know Reader, And this is something uh, that I like because I want to have those uh, text message or the content available from Telegram to be available in Ino Reader. So this is where I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing the uh, articles that are coming from uh, Telegram. And it's very interesting because, again, it puts all my content available in one place. So this is for the Telegram. Um, I used to have some queries or subscription to some Twitter accounts, uh, but I decided to, I was forced to remove those because I know Reader uh, changed, uh, removed the uh, access to Twitter because of the recently changed rules for accessing the Twitter API. So again, I'm not using this uh, anymore, but I'm okay. Um, I think we can see more uh, information sources 
beyond uh, Twitter, which are um, very useful. So I think I'm pretty much done with Ino Reader. Um, I hope it gives you an idea on how uh, the service is uh, working and how I'm using the service myself for consuming content on the web. And um, the trial period was a three month period. And I, I think it's pretty generous from them to allow that. And um, just when the trial ended, I was in no hesitation to subscribe to this uh, service. So yeah, this is um, I know Reader. I'm pretty much done with that. I think I showed everything I wanted to show about it. So thank you very much for watching and see you guys for another one. Bye.